Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Armin, and in this video, I would like to show you how to calculate the sound transmission loss of a crystal in Comsol Multiphysics. In this example, I used the sonic crystal geometry available in the Comsol library. Okay, let's get started modeling. Geometry is a two-dimensional. I will select pressure acoustics, and in the study window, I will choose the frequency domain. As I said earlier, I got the geometry from the Comsol library, so I'm gonna import it. It's an array of crystals in the X direction. Material is air, so I'm gonna choose air from material library. We can use symmetry boundary conditions on the top and bottom of the array. There are several inlet boundary conditions. I'm going to select background pressure field, but you can also choose a plane wave radiation. To define free field boundary conditions without sound reflection, I'm going to specify a perfectly matched layer for the beginning and end of the geometry. Mesh size is a function of frequency. Therefore, we first select the frequency range. Now, I can generate mesh. So I'm going to click on Build All. I forgot to specify pressure amplitude and sound speed. The model has been completed. I'm going to click on compute and wait until the solution is completed. Now we can see the results. I want to calculate sound transmission loss, so I'm going to define two integrations on inlet and outlet. Sound transmission loss is the logarithm of inlet power to outlet power.
PT means the total acoustic pressure, which can be seen from here. Everything is okay, so I'm going to click on Compute. Now, I can create a one-plot group to calculate sound transmission loss. Okay, this is sound transmission loss diagram. We can investigate thermoviscous effects of walls on sound transmission loss. I'm going to create another study for sound transmission loss with thermoviscous effects. Then, I'm going to disable the thermoviscous boundary layer in study 1. I forgot to specify frequency domain in study 2. Another way to determine the frequency is here. Fluid material must be air, so I'm going to change it. Okay, I want to compare the sound transmission loss of study 1 and 2. This is sound transmission loss of two studies.
In the last step, I want to observe the effect of the symmetric boundary condition. I defined symmetry on top and bottom, so I'm going to specify 4 in y direction. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.